Hi, my name is Becky. I own I Heart Art Studios and I am located in the downtown area of Wisconsin Rapids. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I'm going to show you three different little mini watercolor tutorials. And if you recently stopped in and picked up a little kit, you will be able to do one of these projects using the kit that you received. If you don't have a kit, that's perfectly fine. You can still use this tutorial, but what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to find a paintbrush of some sort. We're gonna be using watercolor, so you're gonna need some water. I also like to have a paper towel handy, and if you have any tape, so that way you can tape down the edges. And if you don't have tape, that's perfectly fine too. We're gonna to have so much fun painting today. Let me know if you have any questions, but in the meantime, let's go ahead and get started. Our first project will be painting a Christmas ornament. Find a lid or small circle that fits within your paper and then figure out which direction you want your ornament to go if the paper isn't square. I tape down the paper because sometimes when water is added, it can cause the paper to bulge. Painter's tape, masking tape, or washi tape is great. Then add some drops of water to your dots so they can activate while you're drawing the design. Take a pencil and trace the circle, and then using one of the Q-tips in the kit, I'll start filling in the circle, just like this. Now I'm gonna leave a little white space in the upper center so it looks like light is reflecting on the ornament. Now be sure to use water, and sometimes you can grab paint, or sometimes you can just use the water, but don't forget to leave that little space white in the center. Now you can drop more red in the base to create darker shades and then let it dry, and you can use a blow dryer if you want to. Now I'm gonna draw the rest of my design. So I add a small rectangle shape above the circle and then a little line that goes straight up. And you can keep adjusting the color on your ornament as you go. You'll see I keep doing that as I keep going here. And then make sure the edges around your ornament are dry before putting on the outside color. I'm gonna grab some blue and I start near the corner edge. And then just make sure you keep using water and then start moving the paint all around the outside of your ornament. While it's wet, you can add more blue to the corners and things like that, but I keep a little white space between the ornament and the outside. There I'm dropping in the darker blue. It creates a really cool effect. Once that's dry, I'm gonna add some yellow to the top of my ornament after I adjust my ornament there. Um, and just don't forget to use your paper towel. If you think that you have too much water, you can always tap some of it off onto the paper towel or pull it up. Now, I'm gonna do the circle on the outside once this is completely dry. You can use the black paint in your kit or you can use a Sharpie or a Micron pen and I'm gonna use a Sharpie. Now to draw a circle, you don't want to actually use your wrist. So don't go like this. You want all the circle motion to come from your elbow. It takes some practice, but you can do it and it's a great way of making circles. So my circle around the ornament I actually do a couple imperfect circles because I like the way that it looks. So you don't have to worry about being perfect here. We're just having some fun. Then I'm gonna add some extra decals to my ornament, a little bow on the string, and then I like to sign it. When it's all done, remove the tape and pull it away from your painting so that way it doesn't tear the picture. And there you have it. I hope that yours turned out and this is just such a fun project to do. For project number two, we're gonna create a string of Christmas lights. So you should have your watercolor paints and the items in your kit. And the first thing I'm gonna do is use my Q-tip and put some drops of water on my watercolor to get it activated. Now I'm gonna tape the edges down. In the last one, I did all four edges, but here you can do the corners. Now notice how it basically creates two capital L's in cursive. See capital L and then another capital L. You can practice before you do it, but now I'm gonna just place some blobs all around. So I'm gonna start with one color, just take red and just tap out kind of a little oval shape. And then if you have a pattern you wanna create, that's perfectly fine, but I'm just gonna place my red all around making sure that I leave room for some yellow and blue in between, just like that. Next, rinse off your Q-tip, and then I'm gonna take some yellow and I'm gonna place that down, just using the same process. Just repeat it, making sure that you're leaving room. Now, if you wanted to make a green, you can mix yellow and blue to make a shade of green, 
Or if you wanted to make purple, you can also take some blue and red and make a purple. But for this, I'm just gonna use some blue. Now, if your thing gets too big, just take a piece of paper towel, and while it's still wet, just make sure that you dab it. Just press it down and look, it's gonna soak up all of that paint so you can restart your little circle. So you wanna keep an eye on that. And then add that. Once you have all of your little ornaments on there, then I'm gonna just make sure it's good and dry. Next, I'm gonna come back and you can either use the black paint or you can use a Sharpie or Micron pen. And for this one, I'm going to use my tiny little detail brush. Make sure that your black is activated with water and then just use some water dip in there and go along your edges. Next, I'm gonna do the outlines of my oval. Now think of a ballerina when you're using this detail brush, keep it up on its toes. Then you'll get a nice small little line. But again, Sharpies, you can use a Sharpie or you could use a Micron pen. They're all really good for this. The final thing you'll want to do is sign your masterpiece, remove the tape, and there you have your project complete. In this watercolor tutorial, we're going to create a wreath that says Merry Christmas. I start by taping down the edges because the paper may bulge when water is added. Next, find a lid that fits in the center of your paper. Then using the tools from your kit, I'm going to put a drop of water on each of the colored dots. I suggest letting the water sit on the dots for a couple minutes before use. This is going to activate the paint. And you can also use a water bottle to spray the dots. Now I'm going to place some red dots going around my lid. Once you've gotten one going around, carefully remove the lid and then bulk up the red dots to make it look like berries. Then you should let it dry completely. If you're impatient, you can blow dry it or blast it with a heat gun like I do. When it's dry, I'm gonna create the color green by mixing some yellow and blue. I start with a little yellow, add a little blue, and create a green color that you like. I have two different shades here, a lighter and a darker, and I'm gonna use the Q-tip and start putting little blobs all around the red. If your red dots aren't completely dry, it might bleed into them, which is okay. It creates a cool effect. Then you're gonna let this dry, or you can blow dry it again. Now I'm gonna take the small detail brush and using blue or a shade of blue, I'm gonna draw little leaves on the green blobs. It doesn't have to match the green shaped blobs. The leaf shape is kind of like a little football, and I'm sorry that it's hard to see because it's kind of far away. And you can make as many or as few leaves as you would like and then, again, you want it to dry. Now, for the additional details, you can use a Sharpie or a Micron pen. I like Micron pens because they come in a variety of tip sizes, and this one is very small. So I'm going to add some darker leaves going around, and this will give my painting some more dimension. Again, you don't have to draw directly on the green or on the leaves that you've already placed. You can create new leaves. And now it's time to be brave. You can write whatever you want, but I like to write Merry Christmas. It's perfect for a card or a gift tag. And practice on a different piece of paper until you feel confident. Pull the tape off away from your painting so it doesn't tear the paper, and that's it. Now set your watercolors aside so it can dry. Thanks so much for following along, and I hope that you had fun creating one of these tutorials with me. Please reach out if you have any other questions. I do post a lot on social media, TikTok, if you wanna see a lot more little mini tutorials. And I'm trying to get better at posting things out here, but if there's something else that you would like to see, definitely let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you have a wonderful day and just keep on being creative. Have a great day, bye.